Well, Ken, this really is kind of like gambling because you don't know exactly what you're getting when you bid on a unit. People find disgusting things, even scary things, but they also find valuable items. And while we were there, one man literally hit the jackpot. Now 200, 200, now two and a quarter, hit it to 225. This job is addicting. Mm -hmm. It's like a gamble. It's like you cannot wait to get in those boxes and see what you're going to find. 300, hit it to 3, nobody 325, 325, 350, 375. A lot of people come out here thinking that it's 100% glory, you know, but, but it isn't. It's, it's a lot of work. 3, nobody 50, nobody 450. You bought it, $425. You're watching a real life treasure hunt. It's auction day at Guardian Self Storage. When people quit paying for their unit, the contents are eventually auctioned off to the highest bidder. And all these people have shown up for it. Now the deal is everyone gets a chance to peek inside. They can't walk inside, they can't touch anything, but they can use a flashlight to look around. Meet some of the regulars. Mickey has been bidding on units for 12 years and recently scored big. I uh, happened to get it for $650, and within a week I did $7,000 on that unit. And what was in there? <laughs> there was a uh, fitness center, there was tanning beds. Then there's Josh and Shelly, who make a living by bidding on units and selling the contents, and they've encountered some strange stuff. We found a dead shark in a jar. Fingernail clippings in a medicine bottle. A living snake, yes. It was a box full of costume jewelry. I went to reach in. My husband said, shall I eat snake? And I almost grabbed it. Finally, Alex. He once bid on a storage unit that smelled so bad, he got it for just 150 bucks. But look at what he says he found inside. This Van Cleef and Arpel pin that he's now asking 21,000 for online. There were only 50 made. You know, and how many of them out there survived? Look, I found one in, in a garbage bag. But big payoffs can come with big headaches. One time, a previous owner somehow tracked him down. I had the gentleman showing up at my doorstep, you know, threatening myself, my family. On this day, the regulars are joined by many others, including some first-timers. This unit may just look like cardboard boxes and mattresses, but it generates interest. Auctioneer Gene Gornick presides as the bidding heats up. You bought it $1,100. Now 200, in the end, it goes to Josh and Shelley. They wanted it because of something they spotted in the back. And now that they can go inside, they know they were right. Herman Miller? Herman, Herman Miller. Miller. There you go. Oh, there you is go. that what, what it is? Herman what, Miller. What's the deal with Herman Miller? It's a, that's an expensive brand. Remember, they paid $1,100 for the unit. They wound up selling that Herman Miller chair and footstool for nearly $2,300 online. And there was more. And there's a wash and dryer back there, too. Yeah plus another piece of furniture, and the grand total is more than $2,700. We all know that people love a treasure hunt. They like to find that deal, find that value where others didn't see it. But Guardian Storage Solutions president Stephen Cohen tells me they try to avoid auctioning off units, making every effort to work with people who are behind on their payments. Auctions are a re really a remedy of last resort. In fact, he tells me they generally only make 20% of what they're owed when a unit goes to auction. <laughs> People laughed at this unit. <laughs> and no wonder, it was nearly vacant, except for a vacuum, suitcase, and empty plastic bin. 29, 30, 30 here, now 31. And people teased one of the regulars, a man named Bill, when he paid 35 bucks for it. But just wait. He found purses and shoes in the suitcase, but then he looked in the front compartments. Oh, yes! Oh, 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 oh yeah! Oh, oh, yeah! Inside the envelope, $100 bills. Oh, my God! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! What did you pay for this unit? $35. And how much money did you just find? I think we just counted 15 $100 bills. Feeling pretty good right now. Oh, that's why we do this. Absolutely amazing, but that is definitely the exception. One of the regulars told me it's generally about 70% junk, 30% good, and when you buy one of the units, 
you have to clear all of it out, the good and the bad, yeah. and you have to do it quickly. So Your that's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, if you're not lucky enough just to get the $100 bills, which is awesome, <laughs> right. you know, if I've got a Herman Miller chair, what do I do with it? How do these people get, make a profit on this stuff? Well, some of the folks sell things on eBay. Some of them take it to auctions, and some of them actually own stores. Some of the regulars own stores, and they get rid of it that wow. way. Oh, well, that would work well. So how yeah. do you find out when the auctions are happening? You know, there's a website. It's called Auction Zip, and it really lists everything in your area, and we have a link to it at our website, kdka.com. Really Amazing. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You guys want to go next time? <laughs> I might want to. Yeah. I'm tempted. Yeah. <laughs> I want one of those.